Dance Lady BC on Instagram. I have been a Dance Wear Solutions model for the past three years, and today I am super excited because this is a new craft series that I get to do the first one, Dip Dye Edition. But real quick, I need to show off what I'm wearing. I am wearing the crossover tie back tee and the flex tech fold over leggings. And I'm super excited today because we get to upcycle old dance wear that you just want a new and unique look for. So let's get crafty. First of all, you need some paper gloves. Then we need some paper towels. Next is stir sticks. Then you're gonna need a plastic bin. Next is the dye. We recommend the RIT brand. A one cup measuring cup. A tiny bit of dish soap. Just a little bit of vinegar. Those pans. And last but not least, rubber bands. Are y'all ready to get crafty with DWS? So first of all, like I said, you need to make sure that you wash your outfits that you're gonna be upcycling in warm, soapy water. This is so important because it helps the dye sink in better. And then you need to cover your work area with plastic or something, um, just so you don't make too big of a mess. And then you always need to have paper towels handy because I'm probably gonna spill something. And then you need to protect your hands and wear gloves just so you don't get any stains or dyes or anything like that on your hands. Now that we have that done, um, you need to have a tub with water in it, enough so your fabric can move freely in it. Okay, so for my last creation, it's gonna be epic. So, we're gonna combine two methods, kind of. So first, I need to put a cup of vinegar in each one of these thingies. Okay, now I'm gonna get my Leo and kind of combine two different methods of doing this. And I'm going to scrunch it up and put a rubber band on each section. And I'm gonna put a final one at the end just so it stays scrunched. Okay, I'm gonna do more of like a sunset thing with this. So I'm gonna start with yellow in this first one. And then I need to test it with a paper towel and put it I think we need more color. I think we need lots more color. I'm really hoping this works. I'm gonna test it in here. Let's hope that it's good enough. We have color! <laughs> Yay! It took that long to get this color. I mean, it's light, but it's color. Awesome! The next one's orange, so hopefully this one will be a little bit easier. Now we're moving on to blue. I think that's enough because I don't want it to be too dark. So I'm gonna put one, two, three, four, three sections into the yellow. For this one, since it's yellow, since it's such a light color, I'll probably have to do like 20 minutes. Be back in 20 minutes. Okay, so for this, I need to pull it out and check on it. I have a really pretty yellow. I really like it. I'm gonna scrunch it out, squeeze it out. Then I'm going to put this side in the blue and then later I'm gonna go like that and stick it in the red. There. Now this one I'm only gonna let sit for like five-ish minutes because I don't want it to be too dark. Okay, so it's been like three or four minutes and I think it's time to pull it out because I want it to be a lighter blue. Ooh, I like it. I'll probably leave it in there for like three or five minutes. Five minutes later I'm gonna pull it out. It's so pretty! I really like this. Scrunch it out. Okay, I'm gonna put this outside to dry and I'll be back in the morning. 